Go ahead. My name is Stephen Brundage. I'm 25, and I'm from New York. At 13, my cousin showed me the Rubik's Cube. I was hooked right away. In like two days, I learned how to solve it. My mom bought me a book, and it just slowly took over. In high school, I was never the most popular kid. During study hall, <laughs> I would solve my Rubik's Cube. I probably solved it over 70,000 times. <laughs> I'm currently single now. Uh, I did date a girl once, but we broke up due to the Rubik's Cube. I would practice around six to eight hours a day, nonstop. So it didn't help. We'll get out there and uh, twist it all up. Thank you, man. Have fun. Awesome. When I think back on high school, I think I was once voted uh, least likely to succeed. So it's kind of fun being on America's Got Talent and hopefully doing something big here. <laughs> Hi! Who are you? Uh, my name is Stephen Brundage. What are you doing for us today with those bags? I am going to do Rubik's Cube magic today. Rubik's Cube magic? The act that I do, I'm the only person in the world that actually does it. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> awesome. Can I step down towards you? Why not? Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to try something with the Rubik's Cube. We're going to mix it up on all six sides. Yep. Now, there's 43 quintillion different ways you can mix it up, so watch that close. Completely mix it up one-handed in the bag as fully as possible. Back to Saul. <laughs> I think you have a guess on how I do that, right? Some people guess there's a second cube in the bag. I will prove the bag is empty. Look, I'll check. Completely empty. <laughs> Completely empty. Can I look in it? Absolutely. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Simon, I'm going to do something that's never been done before on TV. Simon, can you actually mix up that Rubik's Cube? Turn it as much as you want. Now, every time you turn it, that's a different one of those 43 quintillion permutations. Simon, whenever you're happy, I will take the cube that you just mixed up and put it back in the bag. Watch that close. Simon's mixed up Rubik's Cube. Well, that's incredible. Yeah. That would be an amazing trick if there was not a second Rubik's Cube in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the trick. I'm being sure you're still paying attention. Simon, can you actually cover it up on all six sides? Cover it up? Perfect. Like that? Yeah. Now, when you think of a solved Rubik's Cube, what do you actually picture? Solids. Colors, right? What if I told you that I found a different solution to the Rubik's Cube? Watch close. Right about... Right about there. See, the different solution was to match the Rubik's Cube that Simon mixed up 30 seconds ago. You have. No. So if I did match it, you're going to notice we have one side that's going to be a completely perfect match. Magic is real. <laughs> Better than one side, though. That's going to be side number two. That is three. That is four, that is five, that is all six sides of completely perfect match. What the hell is going on? That's amazing. Steven, I have to say, I'm blown away. Thank you. How did you do that? Magic, it's magic. No, he's magic. a wizard. No, you are a wizard. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> there is no other explanation for that. There isn't. So that has to be magic. That was incredible. It Thank really you. was. And we do see a lot of magic, and especially up close. I'm always like Hawkeye. I'm like right in that business, and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you did it. Thank you. Well, I love magic, and you just made me fall in love with magic even more. Thank you. That's it. Howie. I agree with my fellow judges. It was fantastic. Thank you. What is your vote, Howie? Yes. Mel, what's your vote? Yes. Simon? It's a yes. And I'm going to give you a fourth yes.
came out all perfect. Wow. Awesome. I don't think we've ever seen anything like that, man. No, it was fun. This has been good.